What's up, people? Um, just wanted to give you an update about my life right now. I'm living in Federal Way. Uh, I'm living at a house that provides my meals for me. And uh, it's been pretty convenient and nice to be able to still walk to the store and get fruit and shit like that. So... That's been pretty nice. Um, I just wanted to make this video to help with my PTSD from when I was a child. Because that shit's really bothering me right now. And I can't seem to get, like, any kind of peace from people in the streets. It's just usually lessons after lessons after lessons. You know what I mean? And I'm tired of these fucking lessons. Like, I don't want to learn shit. I don't want to learn anything. And some people are just telling me, like, life is a continual lesson learning kind of thing. And I'm like, dude, fuck that shit. You can go learn if you want to learn something. You're going to learn. You're going to learn. Learn out there. Learn out there. Don't learn around me. Because I'm tired of that shit. It's like people recognize you and you don't know if they recognize you or not but they kind of like look at you kind of dirty they got this kind of dirty look in their eyes or whatever it is you know what I mean it's just like people interact really weird around you and I've been having a lot of weird shit happen to me lately you know like ever since Christian Sanchez broke into my house and started poisoning me from like 2017 to like 2021 and continuously doing weird shit and just like his friends like putting a rat in my basement and blood on the ground on Halloween night just the night before Halloween like I don't know if I trust them anymore to be honest and like I'm not even 100% sure it was them but I've had people tell me that it's like, isn't it Christian just making you paranoid? And that's what he did, man. He made me hella fucking paranoid because he would come out of my house in the middle of the night while I was trying to sleep and he would like open my door. I, I went to my other dad's house and like my dad's other house. And after giving out my location to like two people on Facebook, I had like, um, there was this cum in this milk jar and I accidentally put that in my mouth and I spit it out as soon as I realized what it was. But that was in my dad's house with my little sister could have been there or something like that. You know what I mean? Not to mention the false widows that I found in my dad's house that I'm pretty sure helped contribute to my dog's death. You know, false widows are like black widows, but they're a different kind of widow. I don't know if they're indigenous to America, like Washington state, but that shit did not look random. That shit looked planned as fuck. I was even remember walking around at night in that neighborhood and there's this lady at this house. Right. And she was like shouting at me in the middle of the night when I was just walking out there trying to get some fucking water that wasn't poisoned from a fountain at Northwood Middle School, but they I didn't realize that Northwood Middle School turns off their fountains uh, in the summer or whenever, but those fountains don't work. And she was like, they hit the milk. And she's like laughing, ha, 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 ha. Not to mention my car just got stolen and was dumped in White Center when it was picked up. And so this kid, this neighbor kid, I was living at my dad's other house over by Lake Desire and he was like he's trying to steal your car and I'm like the fuck is he talking about I went back in the house and think nothing of it now you know this year my car got stolen in the middle of the night and it's like well fuck now it makes sense you know it doesn't tell me who it is it just tells me oh someone's trying to steal my shit and not to mention all the stuff that was stolen out of my house. I mean, I had tools. I had, like, hatchets, knives, 
machetes, clothes, you know, electronics, pretty much everything that you could walk in there and steal, they stole. So I'm just like, what the fuck is this about? Like, why are you persecuting me when we were supposed to be, like, friends at one point? And now you got the feds getting involved in this shit, and it's like they're flying military helicopters over my house and shining a light on me, and Vladimir Putin's driving down the street a couple times down my house, another time in Fairwood, another time in South Center. You got Mike Pence, you got motherfucking Billie Eilish with a laser gun. I'm not sure if it was her that shot me with the laser gun, but it was really close to my dick. Almost shot my dick off with some heat ray. It's like, the fuck? Why are you calling me out in the middle of the night to come see you or talk to you when you're saying my name over and over again? Like, I don't know what you want from me. I I can't tell, like... Like, all she said was left, and she just left. And, like, I'm just like, what the fuck does that mean? You know? And then... You got Ronda Rousey, that Willie guy from Duck Dynasty, uh, Carolyn Carr, just all these people hanging out in the same area right next to my house. And I, I think I've narrowed it down to like why they were hanging around my house. Oh, and there's this Irish dude that when they were shooting a laser at me, telling me to come out so they could shoot me better across the street from my house. Uh, This Irish dude, I I told him about this Irish dude I saw earlier that day, and I didn't know if he was at the houses that was around my area when I was sleeping at night, but this was like 2021, in the, like, June, July, whatever you want to call it, 2021. And I have pictures to prove this shit, but I don't have pictures of them because I'm not a stalker or creepy guy or whatever. I just want to go take a bath in some pond water that's not poisoned. So sorry if I showed up next to your house, Billie Eilish. I really didn't mean to do that. I didn't even know you were there. I was just like trying to take a bath in some water. But this Irish dude... He took off in the middle of the night, and he was, like, one house away from this guy shooting a laser. So I don't know if he had another laser that he was going to shoot at that guy or whatever that was shooting at me. But, dude, fuck this shit. Honestly, my neighbors were fucking with me so hard about that place. And they were telling me what to do, giving me orders and shit like that. Like I was going to follow their fucking orders or whatever. You know, just waking up with a black hand in my mark black mark in my hand when I would sleep out, outside my house because somebody put something in my hand while I was sleeping like a little black capsule that would just pop you know what I mean I still got the scar on my arm to, on my hand just to prove it it's that right there you know what I mean I still got this other scar too this was from this guy at, at a gas station, but this was before then. Uh, I don't know if you can see it very well. But uh, he hit me with a poison ring as I was handing him cash for some cigarettes. It's just like weird shit happens in Washington. And I don't know if I can ever get over these grudges being held against people that killed so-and-so and killed this person and killed that and like taking it out on me. Because I was like five years old at the time. I didn't even know any of this was going to happen. So yeah, just celebrities, Russians, cops, whatever you want to call like higher authorities. They they would just like gather around my house or just drive by my house to see if I was home. It was really weird. Alright, so I'm just going to leave it off on that. Have a blessed day. Peace be with you. All that good stuff. All right. Peace out.